welcome to my channel. I am Bella the Beautiful and on this channel I, th I talk about all things beautiful, whether that's life, whether that's fragrances, whether that's hair, makeup, um, you'll see all things beautiful on this channel. And today I thought I would share um, part of my story in life because I know that I'm not the only person that has traveled down the road that, I ha that I've been traveling um, for a very long time. So I was a teen mom and uh, I had my first child when I was 15. And by the time I turned 25, I had my last child, which was my sixth child. When I graduated from high school, I was pregnant with my third child she walked across the stage with me. Me and my brother have this um, this running joke that every year I had a child or uh, was pregnant, the Chicago Bulls won a championship. So 91, 92, 93, I had a baby, the Bulls got a ring. 94, 95, no baby, Jordan retired. He came back, I had three more children. So. I guess you can say I contributed to um, the Bulls dynasty uh, with their championships, according to my brother. But um, yeah, it's anyway, um, I had my first child when I was 15. And I remember that being one of the scariest times of my life, because when I figured out I was pregnant, no one knew. My family didn't find out until I was... Um, four months pregnant and I was pregnant back in the 90s. Being pregnant in the 90s was not like now. There was no show on MTV about teen mom or um, it just was not common like it is now. Um, it wasn't new, but it wasn't common. There was only a handful of young ladies um, at my high school that was actually pregnant and I was one of them. And going to school, being pregnant, it was shameful. People judged you. They talked about you. They assumed that you were promiscuous and nobody actually knew my story. Nobody knew what I had been through as a child up into that point. Um, like a lot of people, I'm part of that Me Too where um, I have been sexually molested for years by um, more than one family member. And so I never had that experience of deciding I'm going to give away my virginity to whoever it was stolen from me at a very early age. So by the time... Um, I became pregnant, I already had a veil of shame over me and being pregnant just made it worse. And I think the way that my family dealt with it wasn't healthy because we were so um, dysfunctional like a lot of families are. And I just felt even more ashamed of the fact that I was pregnant and um, I had, I, at one point I had thought about giving my daughter up for adoption, but um, I decided not to. I just didn't want to um, do that. I thought I would always wonder about her and um, she would come looking for me and ask me why. And I just felt like I should keep her, which was a great decision. I love my daughter and she's giving me grandchildren, but um, just be feeling so shamed, just feeling shamed and embarrassed all my um, teenage and adult life. Because people look at you, even now, you have how many kids? How old are you? How old were you when you first had your baby? Hmm. What are you thinking about? What are you wondering? Why don't you ask me? Maybe I'll tell you. But instead of asking, people have already formed a judgment about me um, in regards to how I became pregnant. 
I was um, doing something for my job last year, I think. Um, I was at an office discussing something for my job. And this was another agency, not the company I work for, but I was trying to pass the time and I was making idle chit chat and the man mentioned to me um, about him having a child that was almost 30. And I was like, oh yeah, I know how you feel because my daughter is about to be 32. And he was like, what? How old were you when you first had your, um, when you had a baby? I was like 15. Ooh, I wish I was around when you was 15. If you were around what? You couldn't do nothing now for me. So you couldn't have done anything for me back then. But I remain professional and I didn't say too much of anything, but my point to that is even now, I get comments. I did say to him, sir, you don't know me and you don't know why I had a child at 15. And he was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. If it was something like that, I'm sorry. But if it wasn't, I wish I was around. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to keep going on with the job and I have, you know, I'm just going to be professional about it. But ladies, if you encounter these types of things, or if you feel ashamed, even if you didn't have any circumstances and you just made a choice to have sex and you became pregnant, there's nothing shameful in it. Be proud of your child. Be proud of who you are and push forward in this life. Let your children be your motivation to keep moving forward. My kids have always been one of my biggest motivating factors to do anything. I wanted them to be proud of me as a mom and as a woman. And I have five daughters and one son. And I really wanted them to just you know, I want us to be a good role model and for them to um, say, yeah, that's my mom. And to just be proud of who I was. And then any journey, of course, in life, I couldn't have gotten through it without God by my side. I remember when I was pregnant with my first daughter, that's when I really began to pray. Not just because I was at church and I was told to pray, but to form my own relationship with God and praying for my baby and um, praying for her health and things like that. And that's when I began to have my own personal relationship with God. So I just couldn't have gotten through anything in this life without God. But be strong, hold your head up high and use your kids as a motivating factor. Like I said, there's no shame in having children. It's not always in the best of circumstances, but there is no shame in having children. Um, I think one of the reasons why I got married was because I wanted to say, yes, I have six kids, but I'm married. And that's not a good reason to get married. Not that I didn't love him, but that's not a good reason to be married. But I wanted, I was so busy trying to please people that I went through life trying to do stuff like, okay, I have six kids, but I have a college degree or um, I have a job or I'm married or, you know, um, I brought a house or whatever it is. And I spent so much of my life trying to prove to the world that I wasn't worthless, but I still felt worthless, if that makes sense. I wasn't proud of who I was as a woman. And then to top it off, I became a grandmother at a pretty young age, which brought more shame to me. At first, I was very ashamed. And then 
I started trying to say, you know what? I'm telling everybody I'm a grandmother. Everybody's going to know. Everybody's going to know because I need to get past this. I love this baby. Everybody's going to get past this. So I started telling people, yeah, I have a grandchild. I have a granddaughter. I have a granddaughter. I have a granddaughter. And she's like one of the loves of my life to this day. But it was something that I had to do to try to work over the shame. And I'm only doing this video because I'm not all the way there yet. I am not all the way there yet. I struggle with my self-esteem. I struggle with my self-worth. I struggle with the things that happened to me when I was growing up. But I am getting past that. I am through um, prayer and through therapy and with the help of friends. I am getting past this as I walk along this journey that I'm in. Um, I am getting a divorce, but that's just one of the things that's you know, part of the journey. And I actually don't regret anything because it was those paths that I took in life that led me to the person that I am today. Those paths that helped me be the woman I am today to help my children in being the women that they are today and my son being the man that he is today. Um, and to try to help and encourage others. There's no shame in anything that you've gone through. There's no shame in anything that you are going through or will go through in the future. But ladies, keep your head up high. Be proud of who you are. The best things that you can do is be a good mom to your child or children. Life isn't over because you have a child. It's harder, but it's not over because you had a child. You can, if you haven't went, if you didn't graduate from high school, do it now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You can do it online at home. Or if you want to go back to school and get your college education, do it. I just got my, um, my bachelor's degree in 2016. And it took me forever to do it. I kept going and stopping, going and stopping, going and stopping. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm not going to stop this time. I'm going to finish. I wanted to stop, but I finished. And I think doing that really showed my kids that I can do it too. My daughter, uh, the year I graduated from college, my daughter graduated from high school, one of them. And she went on to college and she graduated cum laude. And I just feel like I, that graduated from college, broke chains for my children. Stuff that wasn't normal for our family to do is now becoming normal. And it will be normal for my grandchildren to do to finish uh, college and move on and, and have careers. But even if they don't go to college, you know, just being proud of who you are. Not all my kids went to college. Um, one of them didn't graduate from high school, but I'm so very proud of them and who they are and the people that they are turning into. You can just see that, you know, their future, their path is being shaped in a direction that they're going, if that makes sense. But I don't want to ramble on there'll be more videos like this. I just want to encourage young women, older women, life is not over because you had a child at a young age. Life can just be beginning for you and your baby or babies. Be proud of who you are. And, and I, I felt led to say this too. Don't let a man define who you are. And I want to say it again, don't let a man define who you are or the decisions that you make. I'll talk about that in another video, but don't do it. If you're in a loving relationship, that's great, but still know who you are and make choices based off of what you want, not what a man wants you to do. I hope you all found this video encouraging. It just felt like something that um, I should post. 
and I'll talk more. Hopefully you guys will want to hear what I have to say. I am Bella the Beautiful and I enjoy talking to you guys. I'll see you next time.